Next Wednesday, women and girls around the world will mark International Women in Science Day. Recent studies show while more girls are attending school than ever before, they are significantly underrepresented in STEM subjects. Here to talk more about this is Dr Katie Sizeland from Australia's Nuclear Science and Technology Organisation. Welcome to the program. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, Janie and Tim. Thank you for having me on the program this morning. So I'm actually a trained engineer. I have a degree and a PhD in chemical engineering. And I currently work as a scientist at ANSTO. And basically, my research looks at the structure of collagen. And in doing this, I hope to make improvements in our medical and agricultural industries. You certainly have a very... So, oh, sorry. Keep going, keep going. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so the structure of collagen is applicable to many different materials. Collagen is actually the main structural component of every single tissue, organ, tendon in your body, but also of many products that we know and love today, such as leather, and also medical products such as medical scaffolds for things like burn repair and tissue repair and heart valve leaflet replacements. So my research looks at the structure of collagen in these materials and how we can make them better and stronger. You have a very impressive resume there, and very, very talented indeed. We often hear the word collagen, and a lot of women would think, you know, it's about skin and making us look youthful, but you're certainly uh, doing far more than that. Tell us more about your research and what have you found so far? Yeah, so you may have heard of collagen in face creams and with the cosmetic applications, which is true. But as I said, they are in a whole lot of different products that we know and love today. So my research looks at the structure of collagen on a really small scale. And I do this using Ansto's Australian Synchrotron and Advanced Imaging Techniques. When I take these materials and analyse them, I look at how the structure of collagen changes with things like different strengths, how we squish them, how we stretch them, how we can apply different chemical processes to this structure to make these materials better. And what this means, what this, why this research matters and why you should care is because in making these products better and these materials stronger, we can work towards stronger heart valve replacements that may lead to less open heart surgeries. We can create stronger medical scaffolds for applications such as burns and tissue repair and therefore optimise patient outcomes. And we can make stronger, better quality sheep leather. It's International Day of Women and Girls uh, during the week and during this following week. Uh, what does this mean to you as a female scientist? It means a lot to me, so I think it's really important that we celebrate women in science because we're making so many significant contributions to the field. Women in science is a really, really important topic to celebrate. I'm really proud to be a woman in science, a woman in STEM, and I'm proud to work at ANSTO as well. So women represent approximately 30% of the world's researchers in science. And in Australia, it's actually less than that. It's closer to 17% of the workforce are women. So ANSTO are actively seeking to change this and create a culture of gender balance, diversity and inclusion. And how do we make it less daunting for women, do you think, to get into these STEM subjects? Yeah, so I think a constant mission that science is awesome. There are so many amazing things you can do with science and with STEM. So constantly creating that message as an inclusive and diverse environment. And actions such as those taken by my organisation and their commitment to gender balance will help to show that this is true and that the world of STEM is most definitely a place where everyone can feel included. ANSTO earlier this year actually announced that we have now reached equal representation of gender balance in our leadership team, so that's right up the top down. And by 2030, we're aiming to have 50-50 representation of women across the entire workforce. So it's commitments like these that show everyone that STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths is an inclusive environment that everyone should be able to be part of. So your message to the next generation of young women is get involved. 
absolutely. Science is fun. Science is incredible. And it's an amazing area to be part of. And there are so many opportunities in the wonderful world of science. So get involved. And it's, again, commitments like organisations like ANSTO that show that the value and recognize that the value of women is really important and put value on that and make it a really inclusive environment and in recognizing that it makes it a diverse workplace that everyone can be part of and the industry as a whole is only going to grow from here. Dr Katie Sizen you are very inspiring and congratulations on all the amazing work you've done thanks for joining us. Thank you.